all go back to the bathroom. I'm telling y'all, it's the year of the bathroom for me. Just makes things a lot easier. So y'all, okay, so I saw this thing on Instagram where, oh, I wish I would have saved it. I normally save posts. She was doing the like boho box braids or whatever that have, you know, all the hair pieces coming out. And a lot of times those can get really tangly for people and she like, showed us how to keep the pieces, keep your hair from getting frizzy. I know that is one of the biggest things, especially for me when it comes to crocheting or braids or whatever, is stopping your hair from getting um, frizzy. So I was like, I'm gonna try it today. I'm gonna try it out for you guys. But I'm also just gonna share with y'all really quickly this. Honestly, you guys, there's only been so much I've been able to do to like stop my hair from getting frizzy and sticking together, that kind of stuff. But so far, you guys, this hair is holding up really well, but I knew it would. I had a feeling this was gonna be some good hair. Y'all, I'm actually about to get ready to do a different video, but I was like, let me just show you guys some tips to get the longest possible install for your hair. I have to take mine out because it's just the nature of the beast. It just, I just gotta do it to, you know, keep bringing you guys content. I'm super sad about it. Y'all should be getting plus, plus, four weeks with this hair if you do it right okay if you do it wrong and you you know you're not keeping up with the tips and stuff that I tell you you're probably not gonna get four weeks so yeah let's go ahead and get into it hopefully I can go through this quickly I don't want to keep y'all today I know y'all got things to do number one no ponytails instead y'all you got plenty okay you got plenty right here just pull your hair up take a piece from the back and just wrap wrap your hair in a ponytail. You can twist it around as many times as you need to, but you've got a ponytail. These are gonna do nothing but give you frizz, especially if your braids are long, y'all, and you get the hair tangled up. It's just gonna be frizz city, starting like really up here. And once it's frizzing up here closest to your scalp, you just don't have to just, whew, there ain't really nothing you can do about them braids. If you must use something to tie your hair back, which I'm sure you have to at some point or whatever, use a satin scrunchie. Use a bigger satin scrunchie and you should be good that way. But these small ones, don't do it. I'm telling you, don't do it. Next, y'all, limit the use of water that touches your braids, that touches your scalp. Um, so for me, I'm keeping this braid pattern in for my next install. And for that to like kind of work the way I want it to, because your braid pattern is super important and I want it to stay neat, I'm gonna limit the use of the liquids. Water, all that kind of stuff when I get in the shower, I'm trying my best to wrap this, all this hair up. But if you're working out, that's totally different. By not doing that, I added more cream-based products. I use very small amounts really kind of just in my hair. So work in tiny, tiny amounts, y'all. You don't want your hair to end up dry and thirsty. We don't want that underneath. Um, little by little versus a whole bunch at one time should help. Another thing, you guys, is do a five minute refresh. Um, five minute refresh is basically just going through your hair, especially at the top, and just taking out the braids and then just putting a new braid in. I do recommend um, making sure you save at least like a pack of hair, especially if you want to um, keep them in for a while. So just go through, take out the ones that are really frizzy, they just look raggedy, put some new ones in, and I'm telling y'all, I'm telling you guys, that is one of the best ways to make your hair just look like it's not so old, you know what I mean? Is it gonna look super brand new? No, but it's gonna like give you some more time to keep wearing it. Okay, so let's do this hack really fast, y'all. So I've got my hair split into, first thing I'm gonna do is just kind of do this. Just separate the strands. Next, I'm gonna take some scissors, you guys, and just cut away the frizz, mainly at the ends. Curls like this that have the frizz just hanging on. Chop it off. Try not to cut too much of the end off because it is twisted all the way down to help keep the curl. So keep that in mind. All right, you guys. So next, so it's just water in here. And then I have some 
got to be glued. This is what she used. So I just got a little baby thing. I used to, I don't remember when I used to use this for my wig installs. And I'm just going to lightly spread my hair, trying not to get to my roots. Take some of my glue. Let's start with that much. Run. This hair is so long, you guys, but it's so pretty. why this little hack wouldn't work. You could definitely use foam if you wanted to. I just feel like foam may not be as tacky as we actually need it for crochet hair since crochet hair is synthetic hair. I don't know if this is gonna work for just braids, um, but it did work if you have pieces, you know, extra curly pieces and stuff coming out of your braids for that style. Um, it looked really good after she finished doing it. How long it's gonna keep? who knows but it didn't take me long to do this is something you could probably um keep up with after the shower every you know once or twice a week probably twice a week max i would do and then go about my business just kind of let them hang dry try not to get your hands all up in them so that you don't have any more frizz and stuff and then you should be fine all right you guys so for my last like two tips i think i have something like that do not overuse gel when it comes to your crochet i love my blue lagoon jam you guys i talk about it all the time it's the best i have found to lay my edges keep them in place all day long if you guys are new i am from houston i live in connecticut now i've been here for a year and a half with my family but back at home y'all i could use this in the summertime and my edges still would not go anywhere that's how good this stuff is it's some good stuff okay but i learned about two years ago when i started to use this too much of this is not good y'all it's just not good it can take your edges out so do not overuse this gel or any gel for that matter just reactivate what's already in there because too much gel can one can cause buildup when your hair still probably looks good then you gotta you know try and remove it causing frizz and causing friction all that kind of stuff and then it can also take your hair out and you won't discover that it broke off your hair until you're taking out your braids and so you're taking out your cornrows or whatever you did underneath that's when you'll discover the damage trust me it's happened to me before i was absolutely devastated but you know you live and you learn and you don't do it again or you try not to also you guys if your scalp can afford it if your scalp um likes oils because some people they just, it just doesn't make sure you are taking care of your scalp you know giving it the oil that it needs darren uses this product um sporadically it's the cream of nature scalp refresh so basically you just put it on your scalp, maybe if you wanna do you know, your hairline and you massage it in a little bit and then you can take it out with a towel, just like you know, a wet towel and just kind of wipe off the excess. That should help you with your scalp if you have any you know, patches or if you have any buildup or something like that and you don't wanna take your crochet out just yet. Try using something like this before you take out your braids to see if that helps. It's a good time when your hair is up in a protective style to add in um, something like Jamaican black castor oil, rosemary, um, tea tree, anything that's stimulating basically while your hair is in a protective style so that we can encourage more growth. And then last but not least, you guys, make sure, make sure you are sleeping with a satin something, a satin pillowcase, a satin scarf, 
a satin bonnet. I will list a long bonnet that I just found on Amazon. I'm sure you guys probably have it. I never have this. But a long satin bonnet where it covers, you know, like braids like this. They can be protected. That plays a really big role in the longevity of your style. Your braids are gonna have friction over time, especially depending on the types of clothing you're wearing, um, what it's nagging to, where you're sitting at. It's so many different factors, you know, in our day to day that play a role in how long our hair will keep. Even if you're at home, wearing your bonnet or scarf at home so that it's not rubbing up, you know, your braids aren't rubbing up against something, that will help you out so, so much, you guys. So you guys, that's it, that's it for me. That's all a little chit chat I got for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, give me a heart down below and give me a thumbs up as well. I would really appreciate it, it helps me out so much. And yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys like a quick minute of styles that you could do with this hair with these twists i will link these twists down below for you guys i just ordered them for my sister i'm telling you guys these are cute these are really really cute i've gotten so many compliments on this hair you guys don't go anywhere keep watching and yeah i will talk to you guys in my next video